hey you guys and welcome back to my channel i am qb so today's video is going to be on how i achieved this really beautiful crimp curls using my revlon crimper and um as you can see i'm really loving this hair so if you really want to see how i achieved these curls and this look definitely keep on watching and yeah y'all already know the vibes so let's get into it So first and foremost, what you want to do is go ahead and just detangle your hair. Make sure it's washed, blow dried, and ready to be slayed and made, okay? So I got this hair from Nadula Hair, and this is the 26 inches, and it's just their straight hair. I don't remember. They sent it to me two years ago, and um, yeah. And please do not mind the construction on this wig. As y'all can see, them tracks is looking crazy because I made this wig two years ago. So yeah, I'm just trying to revive it and bring it back. So bear with me, please. Thank you. So as you can see, I just went ahead and separated the hair um, into, I split it into two sections. And then I'm also going ahead and I'm splitting the frontal from the tracks because I'm going to do the frontal separately. So I'm just putting that away um, because I want it to be really laid and I don't want the crimps to be all over the place. I want it to be just layered on top of each other. So right now I'm going ahead and I am separating my tracks so at first I separated like one track but it was too thin for me um, so I went ahead and just did another track um, I double wefted the wig anyway so um, it's kind of thick but you can always do it to the way you would like to do it at the end of the day it's your wig um, you can do it however you want it but I just did two tracks because I wanted it to be a little bit thick So now I'm going to be using my brush to detangle my hair and I'm going to split that hair that I have, that section that of hair I have right now, I'm going to go ahead and split that into two parts. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use my heat protecting spray and um, I'm basically going to spray it on top, you know, because anytime you want to put heat to your hair, you got to make sure that you use heat protectant. And also I really love this heat protectant because it gives it a really nice shine. So now I'm going to be taking my Revlon crimper and I really love this crimper like this is my first time by the way this is my first time crimping my hair so shout outs to me because I think I did a good job for my first time um, but yeah I really love this crimper and plus it's pink and so that's a plus for me.
Okay, y'all. So I'm going to try as much as possible to the best of my ability to explain this crimping part to y'all. Okay. So when you make your first crimp, you're going to press on, you're going to press the crimper onto the hair. And when you make your second crimp, you want to make sure that you are not going over the first crimp. So you're just basically following that lump that you see. So you make your first lump, which is a crimp, and then you go below that, but not too far below. Like you really have to just measure it and, you know, just go with the flow. So now as you can see I'm going ahead and I'm using my got to be spray um, after I crimp the hair just to set this the crimp um, and just make sure that it stays in place and it just doesn't drop or anything like that so right now as you can see I'm done with the back portion of the hair and I'm moving on to the frontal and I'm just going ahead using my heat protecting spray and I'm gonna go ahead and just section out the frontal and crimp it layer by layer. Okay, so low-key, I kind of messed up at this part because I put the crimp, like at the top, I put the crimp a little bit too far up. Um, so it was a little bumpy towards the end, but I fixed it because I went with a flat iron. Like y'all see that first crimp that I made? I went in with a flat iron and just flattened that part out. So where you see that I started the second crimp is where you should start your first crimp, if that makes sense. Honestly guys, really really take your time with this because it's really a lot of work. This actually took me like 40 minutes to do and the hand that I was crimping with <laughs> was hurting like so bad. But honestly the results is worth it. I really loved how these crimps came out. I was so proud of myself because this is my first time doing it and I really did that. Like I really body that. Like do y'all see this hair? Like come on. If you really love this video, definitely give this video a thumbs up, definitely like, definitely subscribe, definitely comment, okay? I will leave everything down in the description below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys so much.